<laughs> Good day. <laughs> Daniel Carter, live on Channel 4. What an incredible victory. Red Bull hadn't even... My live Channel 4. <laughs> Red Bull hadn't even led a lap until this point, and you've gone and won a race against all the odds from starting from 10th. Yeah. Uh, and then I think the odds got pushed even further back when we had to make an unscheduled pit stop early, and I think it dropped me back to 17th, my engineer said. So... Uh, it's crazy, crazy race. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure, then things kind of fell, fell into place quite nicely, but uh, still, you know, the restarts, every restart I was able to make, make positions and make it happen, and that last one was really important. You know, I think there was Stroll, Massa, Hulkenberg, me, all kind of nearly four wide, and then uh, managed to get, get into third on the restart, and then that was uh, obviously, the, in a way, the, the, winning, the winning move. So important and uh, crazy, it's, it's slowly sinking in. A strong car, a great performance from you, but also in a race like that, you need a little bit of luck because there was so much debris on track and we heard Simon Rennie telling you to try and position to different parts of track. There was a lot going on for you to take in. Yeah, there was, there was a lot, but um, you know, I thought everyone was really good today and Simon's, uh, yeah, Simon's been strong sometimes. Uh, in the past, he's been a bit shy on the radio, but I've, uh, I got into him and told him he could, he could talk, he could talk a bit more. I like the sound of his voice. Uh, <laughs> so uh, it was good, you know, everyone was helping me out. And yeah, I, I kind of said yesterday, obviously I was, I was disappointed with the qualifying, obviously my mistake, but I, I wasn't too down. And I said, look, today was a, it was gonna be a race of no mistakes and capitalizing on, on moments and opportunities. And uh, I felt like we did everything we could with that today.